I've watched you um, and the world's watched you, you don't have to make the adjustments you've made. You don't. You actually don't. But you have, and you have become the person that you are. And it's been astounding. Why? Why did you, why have you changed so much? Why have you gotten so intentional about relationships and honor and humility and gratitude? I mean, we've all watched it. But the question is why, 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 you know? I think that I've, uh, I've experienced so much in my short life. Um, I've seen so much. I've experienced a lot of, um, you know, things that a lot of people would look and think that would bring such fulfillment, whether it's things and cars and clothes and money and stuff and girls. And I've just, I've had a lot of stuff that really left me empty. And so I really started looking to find fulfillment. And, um, you know, I, I realized that you know, the things that I thought were going to continue to give me that fulfillment that still to this day, you know, I feel these lies that say, hey, well, if you just get this, you'll be happy. And if you get this, you'll be happy. Um, I really, I, I think I really took a deep dive at the condition of my soul. And I was just hurting and broken. And so I, I asked God, I said, if you're real, um, I, I need you to, to kind of show me and, and, um, I think it says in the Bible, if you seek me, you will find me. And rather than seeking after these other things, I just kind of started looking to God. And um, he uh, showed me, uh, you know, that I was worth saving, that I was worth um, dying on the cross for, that I was worth, that my life was worth, um, that, that I was worthy. And... Uh, and it had nothing to do with what I did because at that time I was such a hurting, um, broken person who was doing a lot of bad things, you know? And so um, to me, I felt like, how, what did I do to deserve, you know, the creator's love? Um, and so I, uh, he just, you know, showed me, you are, you're worth it. You know, you are, I died for you. I love you. I forgive you. You're redeemed. You're mine. I love you. I'm obsessed with you. And that is what cha changed my heart to know that, well, if this guy loves me through all of my stuff, it started to show me that through all the people in humanity, everyone has stuff. Everyone has a sinful nature. Everybody has. It allowed me to start looking, you know, and um, really seeing the best in people and learning to love people the way God loves because, you know, we start making up what we feel love is according to our standards, but God has his own standard. And um, so I just started, you know, as I continue to seek him, he just keeps showing me his standard um, of love and what love is and that's patience and kindness and, you know, all these things. Um, that are his character and that never changed. So that's uh, something that has really changed my outlook on humility, how I see the world, how I love people, how I lead. And um, yeah, and I'm just, it's given me such a cool perspective to be able to um, really uh, look and know that the best is still yet to come. Is that, is this kind of win the transition from just entertainer to leader started to happen because that, that transition has kind of been apparent to so many people. You went from, Hey, I'm a singer, I'm an entertainer, I'm a personality to I'd like to really help people in their spiritual journey in their life. And, and in that regard, you, you're a leader, even the, the album changes, it's a lot of fun, but it, it's promoting that life is changing and seasons and, so is, is this when you became a leader? I mean, did, was that intentional on your part? Uh, I was talking to Harry Hudson today. Um, you know, yeah, Harry, yeah. Uh, he's such a good guy. Um, and we were just talking. He, he said something really cool about, um, you know, his, he, he wants to use his platform to help people. And I'm in the same boat. And I think he was saying how music is his passion, but people are his purpose. Um, and so he was able, he's, he's like, you know, I'm using my passion, which is music. Music isn't the purpose. It's the passion. 
which leads me to be able to, you know, help people, which is the purpose. And so I thought that was a really cool way to look at it. That is a great way to say it. Harry and and he also bro. went in to say that his pain, which, you know, obviously we know he got cancer and he's had a lot of other traumatic things happen in his life, is what led him to the end of himself to realize what am I going to leave? What's the mark that I'm going to leave in this world? And, um, and so he's like, I, he started looking for his purpose and he realized that he's been given this extreme talent and music is a way that he's able to use his gifts, um, to really fulfill his purpose, which is going to give him the most fulfillment in life, I think. And what's your, what's your take on pain and its role in your life? And here's Harry saying it brought him to the end of himself. Um, yeah. Do you feel similarly, similarly about pain? Yeah, I think uh, pain is. Uh, um, it's funny because uh, I took over your sermon when I, we went when I was in LA, and uh, basically it was saying how, um, you know, power. Um, God, God, He's made strong in our weakness. God is, God. What is, what is it? Uh, His power is made perfect in our weakness perfect in our weakness so when we're weak he's strong and it and it allows us to see his goodness and his faithfulness and his character in a time where we feel weak and um that's kind of where i'm at that we which we just got to stop for a moment and this this goes beyond leadership but what you're saying is you believe pain can propel us to unawareness of our need for a creator um is that kind of what you're saying yes yes yeah. it it's like when we come to the end of ourselves we realize that there's nothing we can muster up to really i guess like i couldn't find it in myself to like heal myself or fix myself or be better because i just felt myself continuing to disappoint people disappoint myself you know and i i was like you know nobody's nobody here on earth is able to you know i always feel misunderstood i always feel like people don't really get to see the you know but then i'm like well god the creator of heaven and earth who designed me knows me i mean he knows me he created me he knows the numbers of hairs on my head and who's gonna honor or like who's gonna care more than our creator totally yeah 